Hello everybody, my name is Flying Cow one welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you all a tutorial of how to build this British or English or whatever the politically correct term is nowadays uh, house behind me. Now, the blocks that we are going to be using for this tutorial, go ahead and pause the video if you are going to be building along with me are all these that you can see right here. This glass, by the way, is gray stained glass panes. And then this block right here, I forget what it's called, dead bubble coral block. <clears throat> so yeah, go ahead and get all those blocks and then let's just get into this build right away guys. So first step that we're going to do is we're going to get our bricks and we're going to place five down and we're going to go in one and then we're going to place seven. just like that and then we're going to place eight off of that so so just like that and then we're just gonna connect those two corners I'm just gonna go in a straight line and there's our outline I believe this is so what is that five seven and this is nine so this would be ten by oh I can't do math we want to break that block out for the door um, I think this would be five by thirteen I mean ten by thirteen so that's what this frame is you're gonna to need to get a ten by thirteen little area to build this house so once we got that out we're just gonna dig out all this grass and we're gonna put the floor in Let's do that really quick. And by the way guys, a little disclaimer for this video. Yes, I know that not all British or English houses look like this. I know that most of them are like just brick and they don't really look that good in my opinion. So I decided to add a little tutor part to it so that it's a little more interesting of a build and looks a little better just in my opinion. So that is why it might not be 100% accurate to what a British or English house looks like. I myself personally have never been to Great Britain or anything, so I don't actually I don't actually have a first-hand experience of ever viewing them. All I know is what I've seen in movies and Google images. So yeah. So once we've got that floor down, what we're going to do we're going to take our dark oak planks, the same as the floor. We're just going to build up four right there. Just like that. And then we're going to take dark oak stairs. And we're going to place them upside down along that, along the top one. Then we're going to take our white terracotta. We're going to fill in the outline of that. And then we can take our gray stained glass panes and fill in that little window. So that's what we've got so far. Now we're going to just repeat it for the top. So we're going to go four up. There we go. And then we're going to place the upside down dark oak wooden stairs. So there now we've got that part down. Now we're going to take the bricks again. We're going to outline this doorway right here. And we're also going to build up a layer from that. Leave space for a 2x3 window right here. Go ahead and fill that in. Also, now that we've got that doorway, we can go ahead and put in the door right there. Now, on the back, there can also be a doorway. I'm just going to stick it right here, but it really doesn't matter where it goes. So, I'll just put that right there. Outline that. And now that we've got this part down, we're going to take our 
stairs, our dark oak wooden stairs, and just line that right there, just like that. Now we're going to build another layer up on top of that. And then have two two by two windows right next to each other. All right, and now we've got the front face of the house basically complete. All we need to do is the roof. Let's just start the roof. We're gonna take our andesite stairs and we're going to just place them on top of the bricks. And then for this little tutor section, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to place them off to the side and then one out. And we're going to place an upside down stair and then keep on going with this pattern. We're going to do that on both sides. And we just keep on, oops, we just keep on going with this pattern until they eventually will meet. And then at the part where they meet, we're going to place one upside down stair. So it should look just like that. And we should also fill in this right there. So we'll just place three blocks down. And there. Now we have the front part of the house completed. So this is what it looks like. You can pause the video right here and make sure that you're all cut up. But yeah, so let's get into the back part of the house. I guess we don't really need this, this little block right there. So let's. Uh, there we go. Now I'm not going to be doing an interior of this just because um, I think that's a little much for a tutorial. The tutorial might be, could be almost twice as long if I included a interior. And by the way guys what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm just building the brick all the way up and then I'm going to break out some windows for it. So go ahead and just, if you're following along, go ahead and just do exactly as I'm doing, just make the rest of the house just completely boring and then we're going to fill in the windows where we need them once we look at the inside of the house. That's what I like to do a lot of times because you do want a house to look good from the inside as well. You don't want it to just look good on the outside. So that's why we're doing that. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be including a, tu a interior in this tutorial just because it'll take a long time. I feel like uh, it's more of a personal opinion on how to decorate the interior of your house. So now once we've got that down, we should also finish off this roof right here. So let's just go all the way around like that. Now for this part right here, going to not look that great from the side but most of these houses this is just one portion of it and most of the time they will go down and there will be many of these just connected to each other so that's why this part right here is just completely flat because it normally is not seen in real life now once we've got that, now we can continue down with these, create the roof. And I'm not going all the way over yet because these blocks right here need to connect with these ones because the roof goes in two different directions. So let's get that there. There we 
we go. We got one more layer after this. Should end nicely. Yeah, let's just connect this. Let's not connect it. Let's just have it go all the way over. Just like that. And then to fill this in, we can use our dead bubble coral block. What a weird name for a block. It looks it just basically looks like cobblestone. So there we go, now the house is completely dark on the inside, so we're going to go in there, we're going to put some torches down, I like to put them around the doors and around the windows. Let's go ahead and do that. And now, let's put in the second floor. Oops. The second floor is going to go right along where this uh, dark oak plank lines up on the Tudor part of the house. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that in. I'm going to also put some stairs inside right here. Let's get some light in here. There we go, now that we've got that, we can go ahead and fill in the rest of this. And there we go, now that we've got that, we need to break out our other windows. So let's break out right here. Right here we'll have two windows that are both two by two right there. We can go ahead and put torches down for them. Let's have a one by three window right there. And then let's have another one by three window right there. And there we go, there's the windows for the top floor. Now for the bottom floor, do the same thing right here as the top. So two two by two windows. Torches on them. And then right here, let's have a one by four window on the top. And we can put a torch right there. And there we go, there's the inside of the house. I'm not gonna decorate it too much. But that's what the inside of it will look like. And you could also add a ceiling to the top part if you don't want to see that roof up there, but I think it looks fine. So yeah, there's the house completed. And now a little minor detail that I like to do with all my houses now is just break out one block surrounding the, out the outside of it. So just making an outline of it. We break out that block. And then we're going to fill it in with the dead bubble coral block and then the house will be completed now this little detail I I just picked up on it I don't really know if it makes it look better or not but I think it might just a little tiny bit so that's why I do it so there you go guys there is the completed British or English house tutorial a little bit modified so that it can look a little better just in my opinion uh, so yeah thank you everybody for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a like leave a comment down below letting me know if you liked it and also leave a comment letting me know what else you would like to see me build on this channel um, if you came from my TikTok videos then you've probably already seen this so here's the full tutorial of it there you guys go and uh, yeah thank you again everybody for watching this tutorial all the way through and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.